Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to morph a chart in PowerPoint. This chart shows that Bob topped the chart in February. And here you can see that the chart is morphed and Eli topped in March. This kind of a morphing really makes the charts come alive. In fact, this idea came from one of our email subscribers who wanted to know if it is even possible to morph a chart in PowerPoint. He tried to morph the chart and this was the result. Can you see, it's a pretty ugly way to morph the chart. It is after all only showing the next chart with a bit of fade. This is not what we want. We actually need a situation where the elements morph the way a proper morph happens. Before I show you how to achieve this, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Here we are in a new presentation and these are the two charts. One is for the month of February and the other one is for March. It is essential to start with these data-driven charts which have a link to Excel. But then once you decide to morph the chart, then please realize that it is no longer a chart. It is nothing but graphics. So make sure that you understand that. Now I'm going to make a copy of this by duplicating the slide and let us select this. Then cut this. You can cut by using Ctrl X, whichever way you want to cut, it is completely up to you. Then you paste it as an SVG image. You can do that using enhanced meta file as well. Since I'm using Microsoft 365, I'm going to use SVG image and say OK. And that you will be able to find only by going to Home tab, clicking on Paste and then go to Paste Special and then you need to choose this option. OK, so you need to be very clear about that. Now we need to fix the exact location of this chart. So I'm going to cut this by pressing Ctrl X here and then place it right on top of the original chart just to ensure that there is proper alignment. Can you see here? I am able to move this down the way I want it. And when you use your up down arrow keys or the side arrow keys, you will be able to place these right one above the other. And it is essential that the placement is proper. Now that I know the placement is correct, I'm going to cut this again, Control X, and then go back to this slide, which has the empty spot. Now I'm going to convert to shape by right clicking and using convert to shape option. Then right click and go to group and say ungroup. Now this breaks down everything, but then there is one small thing that you need to realize. And that is you have all these elements connected together. And that is the way the animation happens. Now I want to have everything else in place. So let us select everything else and then hold the shift button and click on this chart by clicking on this bounding box. So you deselected that and then you press control G to group it. Now this is in place and I can send this to back. Now this is the piece which is separate. Now I need to divide this into the individual pieces. How do I do it? It's very simple. Let me go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and you don't really have to bother much about the size. So you just draw this right on top of the previous one, right click and send backward. So that sends it backward to just one level and then hold the shift button and click on this graphical element, which has all these graph bars. Then go to merge shapes. You can always go to shape format, merge shapes and go to this option called fragment. Once that is done, you can see that everything is fragmented pretty nicely. Just remove this unnecessary portion. Now you have these as proper shapes which are ready to be morphed. You can see this is a shape format. So I'm going to select all these elements and then mimic the same color that I had earlier, which is this kind of a gray color and I'm going to remove the outline. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the next one as well. Duplicate the slide. You can watch this as I do it. Control X to cut it. Then go to paste, paste special and go to picture SVG and say OK. Then control X to cut it and make sure that it is placed right on top of the previous one and align the position and then control X and then bring it back and paste it on this slide. And that ensures that the position is maintained. Then you right click, go to convert to shape. Then you right click and go to group and say ungroup. Now everything is ungrouped. Hold the shift button down and click on this chart element. Press Ctrl G to place it in place. Right click and then send it to back. Now this needs to be broken down into its individual elements. Bring the rectangle and draw a rectangle that completely covers this. 
right click and send backward so that sends it backward to just one level hold the shift button down and click on this and then go to merge shapes and say shape fragment and then remove this now you can select all these elements while holding the shift button down and then give it the same color that you had used earlier now this is another set of shapes now this one and this one are shapes whereas these two are charts so i'm going to move this up so now between these two i can apply morph transition so this is february and this is march so for march i'm going to go to transitions and say morph transition and there it is so when i go to slideshow on a click i can say that this is the new chart and the earlier one was like this isn't that beautiful it's a very simple way to achieve morph effect you cannot do this as a standard thing for all your charts because that makes no sense only in some charts where you really need to show the progression from one level to another or one month to another then you can do this very beautiful morph transition and it will definitely make your audience wonder how you achieve the effect at that time you can always point them to this video and say presentation process has helped you achieve this of course i was joking you can always take all the credit for yourself as long as you're willing to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel by the way do you know that our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle has data driven charts as well in fact we have a collection of a lot of creative data driven charts that may take a lot of time for you if you were to design them yourself for example take a look at this one this has speedometers and this one has vertical sliders and all of these are totally data driven and take a look at this iceberg chart the fun thing about this chart is it shows you how many values are above the target and how many are below if they are below the target you don't see the data labels if they are above you can see the data labels and it is totally data driven for example i can go to edit data and i can change the values you just need to change the ones that are in yellow cell and the rest changes itself so you don't really have to do anything for example you can see that the target is 25 and if i want to have some of them changed for example if i want to have this february instead of 15 if it is say around 29 and say hit enter you can see that it is over the target and therefore it comes out and the data label happens all by itself we have this chart where it shows percentage loaded in truck this definitely looks like an infographic but actually it is a data driven chart let us say I want to change the value. I can go to edit data and you don't really have to change any of the other values. You just have to change it here. In this case, let us say I want to have it as 65 and hit enter. You can see that immediately the value has changed and all I need to do is to just change this value here and the job is done. So we have some very interesting data driven charts available in our comprehensive all in one bundle. So make sure that you click on the link in the description box below the video and check out more details about this product which has a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you make beautiful presentations in a matter of minutes. Recently, I created this video called as How to Create Interactive PowerPoint Charts the Easy Way. It's a very interesting way to add an element of interactivity to your charts. So if you are interested in that topic, you can click on the link that you see right now on your screen and watch that video next. And if you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, five days mini training, you can click on the link here and join the course. I share 25 useful PowerPoint ideas that I have not shared elsewhere. And these ideas can be used in your next presentation itself. So please click on the link, join the course, and I will see you inside.